Hello, myself Farki Pratik of Vivekananda Academy of Human Excellence. I would like to introduce my project. My project name is Integrated Poultry Com Fish Farming. Integrated Poultry Com Fish Farming is a multiple land use approach which combines fish culture practice, animal husbandry practices and other agricultural practices. Advantages of poultry com fish farming are at the same time from the same place chicken, fish and eggs can be produced. The water needed for the poultry husbandry can get from the fish pond. Fish can directly feed on the poultry excretal. Raw poultry dung in form of fully built contains 3% nitrogen, 2% phosphate and 2% potash. Therefore, it acts as a good fertilizer which helps in producing the fish feed organisms like phytoplankton and zooplankton. Integration of this poultry cum fish farming is done into two ways, direct integration and the indirect integration. In this model, I have used the direct integration. Direct integration means that the poultry droppings are allowed to fall directly in the fish pond and fish can directly eat that poultry excretal. There are many management practices for this model. First one is the animal husbandry practices. Birds can be farmed in three types. Extensive system, semi-extensive system and the intensive system. In integrated poultry cum fish farming, birds are kept under the intensive system. Intensive system means that the poultry birds are not allowed to go outside of their house. Further, there are two types, cage system and the depleter system. I have made here the biogas plant. Biogas is a combustible gas mixture produced during the anaerobic digestion of organic matter from our household, houses, poultry, fishery, other waste and animal excreta. We have to dump this all waste in this poultry, in this biogas, so that biogas is produced. We can use that biogas for our street lighting as an individual or the community level. Biogas is a combust biogas is mixture of methane CH4 around 65 to 70 percent, carbon dioxide CO2 around 25 to 30 percent, and varying quantities of water and hydrogen. Thank you, sir.